I want to do a video series of first time uses of tools um, and things that will help in a web development workflow mainly focused on on front end stuff and it's kind of just going through just first uses of things that I've never used and they're my um, experience of using them for the first time and kind of running through sort of very very high level scraping barely scraping the surface of, of what the tool can do I just thought it would kind of help for people who are also um, installing and using these sort of things for the first time so the one that I wanted to see my first video on was Bauer, which is from the Twitter Twitter engineering team. Um, people who bought you um, Twitter Bootstrap, for instance. So it's a browser package manager. Uh, you might not be used to what package management is, but it's something that's quite common in uh, in Ruby. It's quite common in Node. This is in most in most um, sort of back-end workflows um, managing dependencies with packages is, is a common task and it's now sort of come to the point where we need to do that for for the browser when we need to use HTML5 boilerplate or angular JS or backbone things like that they all have those packages on their own like backbone has dependencies and um, well, if you use jQuery UI, it has a dependency on jQuery, or jQuery Mobile has a dependency on jQuery, and things like that. And it might have a dependency on a certain version of jQuery. So, Bower is something to try and tackle that. Now, it's not the first time that browser package management has been tackled. There's Jam. Um, I don't know how long it's been out. I've never used it. I've heard it's very good, and I've never. I've. The reason I've never used it is not because like I've just chosen not to use it. It's just never had the time. Or project to use it on. Ender um, is also it's also I believe Ender sort of does um, package management. It also I think does some scaffolding, um, possibly can't can't confirm, but um, that's that's Ender is uh, supposed to be very good. I've never used it. Volo is the only one that I have used. Um, it's very good. I like Volo. I like where the project's heading. I think Bauer is kind of maybe standing on their shoulders and, and looking to innovate on top of what Volo have done. Maybe, maybe not. They say they're trying to be a bit more low level than, than Volo and those other browser package managers. We'll see how they go. And, and with the popularity of Bootstrap, I can easily see Bauer becoming a very popular tool to use. So let's have a look how we install it. Yeah, um, the one requirement is uh, you have to use already have Node installed. I'm going to assume that you have it installed, and we install Bauer. Uh, sorry, we install Bauer via npm. So let's have a look at this. So I believe it's npm install Bauer um, globally. Okay, error. Okay, that's uh, just this. Just need to. You might need to run sudo in front of it. Um, there you go. So that looks like Bower is installed. Then, okay, so we're in my sites thing. I'm just going to quickly um, make a quick test folder. Look how it works, and make a. Yeah. So we're in here now. We're in our we're in our application folder, and say we want to, um, we want to install jQuery. We want to use jQuery on this project. We want to use the latest version of jQuery. You can, I look from the looks of it, you can actually um, grab a particular version there. I don't know what about install repos j. So let's see what. Bower yeah, that's one it's the one name. So we'll just go Bower and install jQuery. I don't know what that repo's query does. I'll have a look at that later. So I've installed jQuery 1.1, or 1.8.1, sorry, 1.1. 1 
Um, I'll open this project in Sublime Text. And you can see here, um, let me just switch this to one view. Um, so I've got my blank index.html. But inside this components folder, I've got jQuery and I've got the jQuery library there. It's, it's unminified, so the minification will probably be um, done in your build process. You might be able to somewhere um, require the minified version. Um, there's a components JSON file, and that sort of just labels this jQuery version, things like that. Um, that error is not on your side. That's obviously there's no readme file on the GitHub version, hosted version of jQuery. So that's all good. So we, if we were in our index.html, let me just get a basic um, template here. Uh, give me one second. Basic template. And then, so we don't need that. So let's just say here. You see how I'm requesting the that version of jQuery. What I'd probably do is just um, do that. We'd go from there. Components slash jQuery slash jQuery .js. Right, that CSS file won't be there. That's not a problem. And then we start off with a server from in here. So it failed to load the CSS, is not a problem, but we can see that jQuery is on the page. Okay, cool. Um, what else can we look at quickly? I wanted to keep this as quick as possible. So if we want to define a package, um, here you go. So we can use component.json in the root of our folder. So you'd always have this when you start an app. Component.json here. And let's say, uh, name of my project, my project, yeah main path to main CSS, yeah, that's, let's have a look at this. So if I wanted to make 1.5.2 of jQuery, say that's a requirement, that's a dependency of um, my um, of my application. Sorry, um, if I move over to my science for Then so this is the right one. Yep, um, I would just do Bower install, and it would fetch jQuery one point five point two. Um, and it's actually there. So it overwrote the one point seven, point one, or whatever one I had before, one point eight point one. If I said here in this component of JSON, I believe if I put a tilde for that. Nope, doesn't make a difference. Okay. Um, so if I change this to 1.8.1 and run bower install, say that's a minimum of it, it would overwrite the file that I have in here, give me 1.8.1. .1. So it's just dependency management, just managing the packages that, uh, uh, that your application requires really um, so that's like really really skimming over it you can uh, how you deploy so how you use it you can use it with require JS as well package consumption um, all through in packages so if you have a library that's not already in there you just register your package and pass in the git URL and it's a lot like with npm there it's a fact and thing so I recommend checking out Bower um, if you get a chance, or if you have to, go over to GitHub. They've um, they've got some issues. Uh, sorry, an issue tracker there. Um, they've got some pull requests. So if you find an issue, register an issue. And I think what my next 
video will be on Yeoman and doing like a first run of Yeoman. And Yeoman actually um, uses Bauer um, as part of its as part of its um, scaffolding, as part of its process. So it uses Bauer for package dependencies. But yeah, check out Bauer at twitter.gearhub.com slash 